Welcome to my channel. My name is Tilo, and uh, in today's video, I'm going to be unboxing some uh, gel blasters that I bought from Amazon. I actually bought four of them. One for me, and three others for my children. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to be unboxing them, assembling them, and then I'm also going to be uh, shooting them, reviewing them, and uh, some tips and tricks to make some of these a little bit more user friendly uh so first off start off with the mp5 this one is my favorite i would really love to own one of these in real life uh favorite little submachine gun uh and i had to buy it when i saw it um got it for i want to say like 16 bucks uh as a like prime deal uh, the m4s both were 20 bucks each and then the AK was like 22 bucks. Um, so they all have uh, these cool little graphics on them. The MP5 is the coolest though. Uh, it has a little astronaut on it, very space-like gun. So as far as the takedown pin, here's a picture. Uh, you have to basically squeeze the end to be able to get it in. And there you're gonna see me uh, hammer it in to completely get it all the way in. For uh, installing the barrel and the uh, buffer tube, um, there's locking tabs on it, and both go, uh, both of them only go in one way. Uh, there's a small tab on one side and then a larger tab on the other, and uh, it'll be the same thing for the AK for the stock. These screws here, uh, put them in backwards, ended up fixing it later on, but the, uh, the screw goes in on the uh, longer piece uh, where that little hex in, and then the nut goes on the 
piece that uh, turns and tightens the, that screw uh, for the foregrip. So MP5, um, first gun that I'm going to be unboxing, uh, came with this little green dot, whatever EOTech looking deal here. Uh, the other other rifles, the M4s came with the ACOG looking one, and if you twist the back end here, they do zoom in and zoom out, and the AK has this bigger scope that same deal uh, well, this one here if you twist the this little knob here it zooms in and out and it actually zooms in out a lot more than the other one other cool feature uh, for the AK scope is this little little button here on the side that flips it out of the way and then you can use the use the uh, iron sights that come with it so uh, but yeah MP5, uh, just almost like a real one. Uh, you can charge it. Can't do the HK slap with it though, because it doesn't, you know, stick or stay to the back. Um, then the stock collapses, and it uh, hooks up to this little little nub here, and that that the stock, you know, clips onto. And uh, the button for that is right here. You press the button, and then you can swing it around. Uh, for the MP5, what I did is I drilled a little, or dremeled out a little hole in the back here, because the battery sits in here. And it's a pain to get to, because to get to it, you have to uh, take out the takedown pin that's here. You have to squeeze it, and then pull it out, and completely out, and then try to wiggle the whole ass end here out so to make it easier for me i just dremel the hole that way i can take the battery in and out um, for the other for the m16s i didn't do anything to them uh, they're straight out of the box pretty cool um, it's just like a regular m4 m16 you know the little button here to take the mag out charging handle oh. Now, as far as the charging handle for all of these guns, uh, to be able to do to shoot them single shot, you have to have them on auto. Except for the AK, that one has to be on safe. Uh, the, you know, they're backwards on all the, most of these guns. Auto is basically your single shot, and then safe and semi are going to be the uh, electric motor. Uh, I have a battery out of this one. Uh, flip up sights for the M4s and then uh, yeah for the AK just like a real one the release here for the mag goes in just like a real AK the charging handle so see it has to be on safe for the AK to be able to do the manual single shot but if you put it uh, in burst or full auto, then uh, you can't charge the, hand, the uh, handle back. It actually prevents you when, when you put it in the electric modes. Um, yeah. uh, the sights, useless. Um, but one thing I did for the AK is I shortened the barrel. Uh, when we would shoot it, the, uh, a lot of the gels would burst before coming out of the barrel. Um, and that's another thing is I'm going to modify it and extend the barrel out towards the end of the barrel. That way they don't burst inside the tube. Um, but other than that, they run flawlessly. They're pretty good for the price. Uh, all right, so basically this is how you fill up the magazines. Um, I'll just show you on the AK uh, mag. Just flip the little door open. Let's see. 
these little Orbeez. Here's a bunch. And you fill the mag in. Now, before shooting, you should prime the magazine because this there's a tube here that feeds into the gun that isn't going to have any BBs. There's a little gear here that will move the BBs up. We have to prime it basically by tapping this and then it'll start bumping the BBs up and you do it until they get to the top. And you want to make sure that the BBs sit for at least four hours. Um, one problem that we had was uh, the AK mag was jamming because we didn't let the BBs get to the full size. Um, so one thing to take note of, make sure they're in there at least four hours. Uh, I have uh, one bowl that's been sitting out for like two days in water. So they're, you know, grown to max capacity. When the mag basically runs out, you still have BBs in the tube, so you have to flip the gun upside down to be able to get the rest out, basically gravity feed them into the gun. If you found this informative, uh, entertaining, like and subscribe, thanks.